howdy hey welcome back to all about that disney life i am danny b the girl who's all about that disney life we now move on to beauty and the beast the enchanted christmas that came out in 1997 so let's get to know this cast robbie benson was prince adam and the beast Paige o'hara was Belle. jerry obrock was lumiere david ogden steers was cogsworth angela lansbury was mrs potts Haley joel osmond was chip and Andrew Keenan Bolger provided the singing voice for Chip. Bernadette Peters was Angelique. Paul Rubens was Fife. Tim Curry was Forte. Frank Welker provided the vocal effects for Philippe the Horse and Sultan the Footstool Dog. Jeff Bennett was Axe. Kath Soucy was the Enchantress. And Roger Pombas was additional voices. Now we move on to the facts all about Beauty and the Beast and the Enchanted Christmas. Number one, the production. Because of the success of The Return of Jafar, the Walt Disney Animation Canada Studios in January of 1996 decided to produce direct-to-video and potential theatrical movies as well as utilize the talent pool of Canadian animators. With 200 animators hired, Disney Animation Canada had two separate animation facilities in Toronto and Vancouver, which were supervised by Joan Fisher, a former Canadian public television executive. Their first project was this movie, which went into pre-production later that spring. Additional animation work was done by Walt Disney Television Animation Australia, Wang Film Productions Co. Ltd., located in Zigdian District, Taipei, Taiwan, and Character Builders. This was Disney's first direct-to-video animated movie to use digital ink and paint. Number two, original ideas. The movie was going to be a direct sequel to the original movie with the main villain slated to be Avion, here depicted as Gaston's younger brother. Avion's goal was to avenge Gaston by ruining the lives of Belle and the prince and threatening to kill them, reportedly using sorcery to transform the prince back into a beast and frame Belle for it. Although he was cut out of the story and plot had changed, these traits were incorporated into Forte, the pipe organ, who didn't want the beast to become human again. Unlike the other characters, Forte was animated entirely by computers. The antagonist's name, Aviant, was taken from the French 1946 live-action black-and-white movie, Beauty and the Beast, being the name of the antagonist of its movie. The movie is one of the first and most popular versions of the story and have been the most influential on future versions, including the original Disney movie, whose antagonist Gaston, in fact, was himself inspired by Avion. Number three, nominations. At the Annie Awards, this movie was nominated for Outstanding Individual Achievement for Directing in an Animated Feature Production, but it lost to Mulan. This movie was nominated for Outstanding Individual Achievement for Music in an Animated Feature Production for the song As Long As There's Christmas, but it lost to Mulan. Tim Curry and Jerry Obrock were both nominated for Outstanding Individual Achievement for Voice Acting by a male performer in an animated feature production, but they both lost to Anastasia. And this movie was nominated for Outstanding Individual Achievement for Writing in an Animated Feature Production, but it lost to Mulan. Number four, bonus facts. This is the first Disney Princess Christmas movie. The axe is very stereotypically Jewish, using phrases like Oi Kavolt and Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah. His official name is Mr. Fireworker, also a Jewish name loosely translating to Fireworker. This is Disney's first feature-length animated film to have its music score composed by a female composer. This was the first Disney animated movie to have a DVD release. After Forte says, I think not, and plays his first chord, there is a moment of silence as a chandelier drops and Chip asks what's happening. This moment is like the chandelier drop in Phantom of the Opera as there is no musical score in the background as it drops. The only sound as the chandelier drops is the chain loosening in the Enchanted Christmas movie. The book that Belle wrote and wrapped together to give the Beast as a Christmas present is the original story of Beauty and the Beast. Maurice appears in this movie in a non-speaking cameo because Rex Everhart was supposed to reprise his role, but he was unable to do so for unknown reasons. The Christmas angel on the tree at the end of the flashback is replaced by one resembling Angelique. The end credits are golden yellow, like the end credits for the first Beauty and the Beast movie, instead of chalk white, like in the earlier releases. And there you have it, all the facts about Beauty and the Beast and the Enchanted Christmas. If you like this video, please hit that like button, and don't forget to leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you have a zippity doo da day. Goodbye.